Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is actually an updated version of one of my previous tutorials on how we can add a tail to a character using spring bones. For this new tutorial, I'll be using Character Creator 4.52 and Blender version 4.3.2. Let's start by installing the plugins for Character Creator and Blender. In the Reolution Hub, you can see this plugin called Blender Pipeline. I have already installed this. This adds the plugins for both iClone and Character Creator. Now click on this product home for Blender Auto Setup. This takes us to the website where we can download the plugin for Blender. You don't have to extract this plugin. This is just an add-on which you can directly install in Blender. In Blender, go to Edit Preferences and click on Add-ons. Over here, you can go to this drop-down list and select Install from Disk. And here you can select the downloaded file. It will automatically install the plugin. In the viewport, you can click on N to access the plugin. Over here, you will have two tabs, one called Pipeline and one called Create. And now let's open character creator i'll be using this donkey humanoid character that i had created for a personal project before we start let's give a t pose to this character and now i will import the tail model that i had downloaded from sketchfab simply drag and drop into character creator i'll increase the scale of this tail I'm intentionally keeping this tail bigger just for the sake of this tutorial. I will click on reset scale to make this as the default. I want this to be exactly at the center. So I will click on reset zero out. Now I can simply move this tail to the desired position. I will slightly move this to the top as when we do a skinning process, uh, this tail might go a bit lower. Let's also change the color to match with the character. Now let's attach this tail to the hip joint of the character. Now let's go to plugins, blender pipeline and export the character to blender to export the FBX. Except the last two options here, keep everything else checked and export the character. And now let's open Blender, hit N on the keyboard and in the CC pipeline over here, you can click on import character and select the character that we had exported from CC. Make sure to uncheck the import animation option here. And now we can go for the orthographic view by clicking the X axis over here. Select any part of the bone and in the viewport display option, click on in front. Now you can see the bones over the mesh and over here in the outliner, you can search for hip joint. Select the hip joint and go to the edit mode. And now you can click on E on the keyboard to extrude a new bone. And again, hit E and extrude another bone. These two bones we won't be using as spring bones as this will give the stiffness to the tail of the character. And repeat the process to add more bones till the end of the tail. Usually when we bring this character back into CC, the last bone will be deleted. So it's better to just add one more extra bone just for that purpose. And now you can go back to the object mode Let's save this project.
if you want to you can rename these extra bones that we have added and now let's go to the cc create tab over here and over here you can see that it says invalid character this is because we have added extra bones to the hip joint of our cc character so in order to fix this we need to convert this model into a humanoid character so you can go to character management over here and click on edit and you can select convert to humanoid over here and hit ok now you can see the option over here export to cc and you can export this make sure you turn off export animation checkbox over here so once the export is done let's go back to character creator open a new project let's go to plugin blender pipeline and select import the character and over here you can see that the type is humanoid and you can check all the boxes over here and you will have this select characterization profile this is the most important thing over here by default it recognizes our character as actor build but with actor build profile you won't be able to use the extra bones that we have created in blender so make sure you select cc3 profile over here from the drop down and now that we have the character imported let's open bone manager in case you don't have the window over here you can go to windows and select bone manager and in bone manager search for hip joint and you can see all the bones from 001 to 007 we need to change all these extra bones that we have added into used type so select all these and simply click on used at the bottom and now when we select the viewport bone display to used bones you can see that the extra bones that we have added is part of the bone structure and now let's do the skin weights for these bones we can select the option skin weights over here and over here in the scene tab select the tail mesh let's rename this to tail and click on skin weights again even though we have selected the bone in the bone manager in the viewport we can see it doesn't show the selection properly i think this is some kind of glitch in the software so we are going to assume the right bone selection and do the skin weights so over here 006 is this bone right here and let's go to the selection mode over here make sure ignore back faces is checked off so when we select these vertices the vertices on the back is also selected and now we will use this grow option to select the neighboring vertices and we will select one in the quick replace so now what we have done is this selected bone will affect 100% of these vertices so this part of the mesh is completely controlled by that one particular bone we have selected and similarly we will select 005 bone select the center vertices and use grow option to increase the selection and repeat the same process so i'm doing the same thing for the rest of the bones as well you can see with each bone selected the affected area is in complete white 
सो दिस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द मेथड्स दैट आई फाउंड आउट टू मेक द स्किनिंग प्रोसेस ईजियर सो वंस वी हैव डन दिस वी विल सेलेक्ट ईच बोन एंड स्मूथ आउट द स्किनिंग एंड लेट्स गो टू द पेंट टैब ओवर हियर वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस स्मूथ टूल एंड विद द रेडियस ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टी and strength to 100% which is 1 we will select each bone and smooth out the skinning process and just to explain the color value you can see this chart right here so imagine the value for the skin weights is between 0 and 1 if the skin weight is complete white then this particular area will be affected by the bone completely at 100% and if the area is completely black that means that area will not be affected by this bone at all a complete white color value is not used in any of the organic models like this character so a complete white color value can be used for a character like a robot where the bone affects one complete part of the character so based on these values you can see that the most affected area would be the red color and then gradually changes to orange and then yellow and then green and then to blue so blue would be the least affected area and if you want to learn more about these color values you can click the link in the description below so i will repeat this whole smoothing process for all the other bones as well and now let's close the skin weights window before we get to the spring bones option let's smooth the mesh of the tail model by selecting the tail over here and increasing the smoothness and let's select edit spring over here and i will select each bone over here and click on active for now let's simply select these four bones and turn them active we have not made any changes in the spring bone settings let's just add a simple animation and see how the spring action looks we will use this simple walk animation we can see that the spring action is working but uh when you look closely you can see that the bones are also translating we only need the rotation on these spring bones because it's a tail so we will go back to the spring settings over here edit spring and select each bone and change the spring type to rotate and now when you play the animation you can see this is much better let's also change the hardness value so over here with each child bone the number of the hardness has to be reduced by 1 so if the highest bone over here is 8 then the next one will be 7 and the next one will be 6 and so on and now when we play the animation we can see that there is too much bounciness here and also some deformation so let's fix the bounciness first let's go back to edit spring tab and over here we can reduce the bounciness completely 
they can increase the strength to maximum and i have tried different values of mass and i found three around three to be the correct uh, value for this kind of uh, spring action and now when we play the animation we can see this is way better than before and now let's fix the deformation that was happening let's go back to skin weights here and using the smooth tool we will smooth out even further for all the bones now we are done with the smoothing process let's play the animation again and this looks way better let's give a different motion to this character and see if it works for all kinds of motions let's use this dance motion over here In this motion, you can actually see that the tail is going through the body. In this case, we can simply select the top bone and turn off the spring action. And now when we check the animation, it works perfectly. And that's how we can add a tail with spring bones in Character Creator. I was busy this whole year with a lot of uh, personal projects. So now I'm getting back to making these tutorials. So there will be a lot of tutorials coming soon. If you found this tutorial useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.